My fury has ended. Hear me! But I have found a man after my own heart. I have found a man after my own heart and he is amongst you. The highest court in the land, the Supreme Court, too shall step down for the embarrassment of what shall take place. For I wish to place in the highest court in the land righteousness. And they shall attempt to put others in to endeavor, to reach their endeavors. But God says, hear me tonight. Hear me today. I have this whole thing planned out according to my will. For it is now time for me to restore the fortunes of Zion. I couldn't quite see his face because that was not allowed. Because there was a mist that covered all the people and he was amongst them. And the Spirit of God made me look at him and he said, This man will throttle the enemies of Israel. This man will throttle the enemies of the West. And there are highly embarrassing moments that are about to occur for many, many politicians in this nation. There will be a shaking amongst there will be a shaking amongst the de Democrats in the upcoming elections, but unsettling for the Republicans. Why is, why is God doing this? For God said, I am dissatisfied with what emerges from both parties. And then there is a nation he showed me, took me itching for a new kind of war with America. They will shout, impeach, impeach, they say. But nay. This nation shall come very subtly. But he shall not come in the time of President Obama. They shall come when this new one arises, my David, that I have set aside for this nation. A man of prayer, a man of choice words, not a man who is verbose, who has verbosity, who speaks too much. They will even say, this man is not speaking enough. But God says, I have set him aside. They will shout, impeach, impeach. But this shall not happen. And then God says, highly embarrassing moments when another Snowden arises. And people will become very afraid. They'll say, we have no protection. And then God says, am I impressed with your weapons of war? Am I impressed with the strength of your men's legs? Ha! I have said I will bring this nation to its knees. The man that I have raised up, pray. For the enemy will do everything in his power to put a witch in the White House. Did anybody hear what he just said? For Jezebel has chased away the prophets and even Elijah. Come on. Now I have said, go back. For this shall be dismantled so that there will be no more corruption in the White House, says the Spirit. This that shall take place shall be the most unusual thing, a transfiguration, a going into the marketplace, if you wish, into the news media, where Time Magazine will have no choice but to say what I want them to say. Newsweek, what I want to say. View what I want to say. Trump shall become a trumpet, says the Lord. Trump shall become a trumpet. I will raise up the Trump to become a trumpet and Bill Gates to open up the gate of a financial realm for the church, says the Lord. And I will not forget. 9-11 I will not forget
what took place that day. And I will not forget the gatekeeper that watched over New York, who will once again stand and watch over this nation, says the Spirit of God. It shall come to pass that the man that I place in the highest office shall go in whispering my name. But God said when he enters into the office, he will be shouting out by the power of the Spirit, for I shall fill him with my Spirit when he goes into office. And there will be a praying man in the highest seat in your land. There will be a praying president, not a religious one. For I will fool the people, says the Lord. I will fool the people. Yes, I will. God says, the one that is chosen shall go in and they shall say he has hot blood for the Spirit of God says yes he may have hot blood but he will bring the walls of protection on this country in a greater way and the economy of this country shall change rapidly says the Lord of hosts listen to the word of the Lord God says I will put at your helm for two terms a president that will pray but he will not be a praying president when he starts I will put him in office and then I will baptize him with the Holy Spirit and my power says the Lord of hosts